Greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to Moments with Truth, which is a television outreach of the five gospel halls here in Tobago. We sincerely pray that you will be blessed as you view today's program. A pleasant good morning, a pleasant good day to everyone in this island and by extension the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and the World Wide Web. Everyone who is viewing this broadcast, Moments with Truth, we greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a joy, it's an honor, it's a privilege to enter into your homes with this program, with the Word of God, to remind you that the Word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Before we open the word of God and tell you more of this wonderful person, glorious God, we shall seek the Lord's face in prayer. Shall we pray? Our God and Father, hallowed be thy name. We continue in thy presence in the name of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and we thank thee for him. We know that there is none like him on earth. There is none like him in heaven. He is altogether lovely. We thank thee, Father, again for thy mercies toward us. We worship thee, Father, and thank thee for thy great salvation with which many of us have been blessed. Our God and Father, we look to thee this day and ask of thee as we shall speak of him, the altogether lovely one, grant unto us the grace, the help, the ability of which we stand in need, that everyone who hears of this glorious person and is not saved will come to a knowledge of the truth and be thine. Glorify thy name, restore the backsliders, and refresh the bowels of thy people, not forgetting those who are not well in their bodies. Father, we pray that will comfort them, that will strengthen them, that will heal them. And for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, we pray that they will know the comforting and the abiding presence of the Lord. We ask these things with our thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today, I would like us to turn please to the book of Lamentations. The book of Lamentations in the Old Testament, that is the book after Jeremiah and just before Ezekiel. Lamentations chapter 3, and we shall read two verses. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23, the word of God says. It is because of the Lord's mercy mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness shall we read these two verses again please lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 and 23 it is because of the lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We know and we trust that the Lord will bless the public reading of his word to our hearts and speak to us therefrom for Jesus' sake. Amen. Today I would like us to consider as our subject the attributes of God. The attributes of God. When we speak about the attribute we want you to observe and understand and be reminded it's a quality ascribed to a person characteristic quality quality or characteristic of a person distinctive quality or marks when we are speaking about this tremendous truth about the attributes we are referring to the attributes of god 
we are primarily thinking about the eternal God, his nature, his being, his essence. What are some of the things, the qualities that mark our eternal God? One of those qualities is mercy. And we shall speak this day with the help of the Spirit of the Lord concerning mercy. One of the attributes of God. God is merciful. Praise his wonderful name. And so the Bible tells us, the servant of God tells us, the spirit of the Lord tells us, it is because of the mercies of God we are not consumed. Because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. When we think of the mercies of God, the mercy of God tells us of the manifold wisdom of God. The mercy of God is, firstly, God's mercy is manifold. God's mercy is manifold. The Bible tells us it is because of the Lord's mercies. God's mercies are manifold. In other words, the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us that God's mercies are many. It's not one or two or three. Many. The manifold mercies of God. When we think of the manifold mercies of God, I would like us to also consider that the manifold mercies of mercy of God reveals the doctrine. Manifold in its doctrine. When we think of the mercy of God, it's manifold. And it is manifold in its doctrine, in its teaching. What is taught? The mercies of God teach us. The mercy of God teaches us what a lesson, what a teacher. What are some of the lessons that one can learn from the mercies of God? There are many, but I would like us to consider a few of these mercies and a few of these teachings. One of the lessons is God is love. When the Bible tells us of the mercy of God, when the Bible reveals the mercies of God that are manifold, that are many, God's mercy teaches us. And one of the lessons is God is love. You see, the mercy of God tells us and teaches us God does not want any man in this island no person in this great nation, nobody viewing this broadcast moments with truth to die and go to hell. The mercy of God, the pardon of God, the manifold wisdom of God, the manifold mercies of God teach us God is love. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, but God commendeth his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So the mercies of God reveal the love of God. And friends, listening to this broadcast, moments with truth. God is saying to you today, I love you with an everlasting love. The mercies of God tell us, God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The mercies of God teach us and one of the lessons is God is love. Not only does the mercy of God teach us that God is love but the mercy of God teaches us God is long-suffering. 
God is not willing that any should die and go to hell. It is God's desire that every person in this great nation should repent and be saved, should repent and seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. It is God's mercy that tells us he is long suffering and God wants every person in this island, every person in this great nation throughout the length and breadth of this world to repent and get right with the eternal God. The mercy of God tells us God is long suffering. God has borne with us. God has borne with every one of us. God could have driven us into hell. God could have taken us and cast us in hell and the lake of fire. But the mercies of God reveal unmistakably, reveal emphatically, reveal dogmatically that God is long suffering. He wants to save you dear friends viewing this broadcast we ask you this question are you saved have you repented and trusted christ as your savior god is merciful it is of the lord's mercy says the bible that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness god's mercy is manifold manifold in its love manifold in its long suffering god wants to save you not only manifold in its love and long suffering but manifold in telling us that god is lofty god is consciously superior god is exalted god is sublime the mercies of god tell us that there is none who can stand before god there is no man who can stand alongside God. There is no person on this earth, no principality, no power that can stand alongside God. He is incomparable. He stands head and shoulders above all. He, ex he is exalted high above all heavens, high above all earth, high above all angels. And when men, many of them beat their chests and want to think that they are gods and want us to think that they are equal with God, dear friends, you want to tell you, God is sublime. You cannot match God. You are just the creature. We are the creatures. He is the creator and no man can link. No man can stand accepted or can stand alongside God. God is unique. God is lofty. God is over every one of us. Every one of us put together. All of us come together. We are just like water spilt upon the ground that cannot be gathered up again. But when it comes to God, he is high above all heavens, high above all principalities, high above the atmospheric heavens, high above the troposphere, high above the ionosphere, high above every heaven, the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven. The Bible tells us the heaven of heavens cannot contain him. God is exalted. God God is sublime. God is superior than every man in this great nation and everyone in the Caribbean and everyone on this earth. God is overall blessed forevermore. And it is time you recognize it and repent of your sin and come to this lofty one and be saved before it is forever too late. So God's mercy is manifold, manifold in its doctrine. Some of the lessons that are taught through the doctrine is that God is love, God is long suffering, God is lofty, and the Bible wants us to know God is living. He is the living God. God is alive, and God cannot die. The day is going to come when I'm going to die, when you are going to die. We are going to go the, all, the way of all flesh, but he is the living God. The Lord Jesus Christ says, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death. God is the living God. And friends, wherever you are, whoever you are, God is living. God sees us. God knows us. And if you don't repent of your sin, the day is going to come when you will stand before the living and true God. He will judge you righteously and cast you into the lake of fire. But the mercies of God tell us that God is long-suffering. He wants to save you and he wants to save you now. Will you repent of your sin? 
It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not. We worship God. We thank God for the manifold mercies of God. The mercies of God teach us the manifold wisdom of God teach us, tells us that God is love. God is long-suffering. God is lofty. God is living. Manifold in its declaration, its announcement, its proclamation. Yes, we proclaim that God is merciful. And we will continue to tell every man, woman, boy, or girl with whom we come into contact that God is merciful. This is an announcement. This is a declaration that is sweet. It is sweet to know as, I, as we onward go that God is merciful. Although God is love, although God is light, although God is living, the Bible tells us God is long-suffering. And we declare it, we are going to declare it as long as we're alive through the gospel that God is merciful. God loves mercy. God loves to show mercy. God is ready to show mercy. God is willing to show mercy. And God's time to show mercy is now. Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The manifold wisdom of God, the manifold mercy of God, manifold in its doctrine, manifold in its declaration, manifold in its distribution, it's giving out. God gives mercy. God not only delights in mercy, he gives mercy. Oh, we worship God and we thank God. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. When we think of the pandemic across the world, when we think of what it has done to Trinidad and Tobago, Friends, we have to conclude, we have to agree that God is merciful to this little nation. 1.4, about 1.4 million people. God is merciful to us. With this pandemic, COVID-19, many more people could have been infected. Many more people could have died. But God has spared us. And to God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life an atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in. Let us as a nation lift our hearts and say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice, oh come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. We applaud all those who have been at the forefront of the battle. We applaud those who have worked feverishly and are still working, but we lift our hearts to God. Although we thank God for every person in this nation who has come forth, who has worked, and who is still working but the glory must be God's the glory does not belong to man it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not thank God he is a merciful God manifold in its declaration manifold in its distribution manifold in its disclosure it's revelation. God has revealed in his word that he is merciful. What a wonderful savior. What a wonderful God. Not only, do we, not only can we consider the mercy of God that is manifold. Or the mercies of God that are manifold. But the mercy of God is manifested. It is shown plainly to the eye to the mind it is showed plainly it is displayed god has displayed his mercy and as we've indicated earlier he has displayed it in this nation yes he has shown it in the world but we narrate down to the republic of trinidad and tobago during the time and still in the time of covid 19 god has displayed god has exhibited his mercy he tells us he is merciful. What a wonderful Savior. What a wonderful God. God's mercy is manifested through this period 
Through this period, it is manifested to this country in so many ways, not only during COVID, but in many ways before COVID. God is saying to this nation, I am merciful. So he manifests his mercy to the country, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. But God does not only reveal it. He reveals it through the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus came into this world, when God became man and tabernacle among us, when he came into this world, God was saying to us, he is merciful. And when Jesus Christ lived a life apart from sin, never sinned and could not have sinned, the time did come when God did not only reveal it to this country, God not only revealed it also in his coming, but he revealed his mercy at Calvary. When Jesus Christ went to Calvary, when Jesus Christ suffered, when Jesus Christ bled, when they buffeted him, when they spat in his face, when they drove the nails in his hands, their friends in the great, this great nation, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, every suffering that Jesus Christ experienced at the place called Calvary, God was saying to man, I am merciful. I want to show you mercy. I want to pardon you. I want to give you life. And to give you life more abundantly. But notice also, it is not only manifested to this country and to the world. Manifested at his coming. Manifested at Calvary. But it is manifested at conversion. When a sinner realizes that he is a sinner recognizes that it is of the Lord's mercies that he is not consumed recognizing that God is long suffering God is love and God wants to save him God wants to give him life and give it more abundantly that sinner realizes that if he repents of his sin the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse him if he does not repent he will die and go to hell and he falls before God and he says to God Lord I know I have sinned Lord I'm a sinner the blood of Christ has been shed to cleanse me I am a sinner save me from my sin the blood of Jesus Christ God's son cleanses that sinner and in conversion that saved man that saved woman knows that God is merciful dear friends if you repent of your sin at this time if you call upon the Lord the Bible says they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved the word of God says verily verily I say unto thee he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life friends if you from your hearts repent of your sin and turn in deep repentance to God the blood of Jesus Christ God God's son will cleanse you from your sin. You will be changed. You will be converted. You will be born again. You will be saved. And you will discover experimentally that God is merciful. Are you going to do that this morning? Are you going to do that today? Are you going to recognize who God is that is lofty? The attributes of God. One of the attributes is he's merciful. Are you going to come as you are? Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that he bids me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Or you may say, well, you don't know the kind of person I am. Of course, we don't know who you are. All we know is that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And what we do know is that no matter how many sins you have committed, how far you have gone in sin, if you come just as you are and confess your sin, our Savior our God who is merciful will save you and will save you now. Are you ready? Are you ready? The Bible says if you be ridden, willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be destroyed, devoured the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. So whatever your lifestyle has been, whatever your living has been, whatever your condition has been, no matter how far you have gone in sin, we beg of you in the name of Christ, come to the Savior. Make no delay. Here in his word, he has shown us the way. Here in our midst, he's standing today, tenderly saying, come. We are going to bow our hearts 
We are going to bow our heads. And while we do so, we trust that you're going to bow your heads, bow your hearts, and ask the Lord to save you because he is merciful. Shall we pray? Our God and Father, we come to thee at the close of another broadcast, Moments with Truth. Father, we thank thee for thy attributes. And we thank thee for this attribute that tells us it is of the Lord's mercy. Oh, we thank thee for the mercy of God. Come every soul by sin oppressed, we sing. There is mercy with the Lord. Oh God, speak to this great nation. Speak to everyone who is viewing this broadcast. That they will remember and know that God is merciful. And because he's merciful, they will come as they are. Repent and be saved. And experience, experience from their hearts that God is merciful. Bless thy word. Say precious souls as we give thee our thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for viewing today's program. We invite you to contact us at any of the media advertised or visit us at any of the meetings that appear on the screen. Dear friends, remember that Jesus saves, he keeps, and he satisfies. May God bless you.